week, space enthusiasts were glued to the test launches of SpaceX's Starship, which finally took off on Thursday. To debrief that launch, I'm joined by technology editor Peter O'Brien. Peter, great to see you. So was it a success uh, despite what happened and that this, in fact, did end up as a fireball. Oh, without wanting to sound too pretentious, Delano, it did remind me of uh, Samuel Beckett's words, try again, fail again, fail better. It's almost as if that is SpaceX's mantra. Of course, we saw a spectacular failure in the form of uh, the Starship rocket spiraling out of control and ending up in a huge fireball. And it might not have looked like it, but in fact, this was a success. Uh, Starship was able to uh, leave the ground and survived max Q, which is the point at which the rocket is at its most highest level of stress from both its engines and from atmospheric resistance. That is a considerable achievement just days after another test launch was uh, scrapped because of a frozen valve. And experts agree that SpaceX's um, way of embracing failure and not being afraid to make mistakes is the very reason that they're so far ahead of the competition. Take a listen. So one of the things that is a hallmark of SpaceX uh, during my time there and makes it very different from traditional aerospace or what we did at NASA was this embracing failure when the consequences of failure are low. In fact, when beginning to design something new, uh, it's it, it, you look for opportunities to create uh, uh, chances to fail, even spectacularly sometimes, uh, early on and often so that you can learn as fast as you possibly can. With the pace at which SpaceX has managed to accomplish everything that they've done in the last decade, or even in the last five years, it wouldn't surprise me if we had humans on Mars with Starship in the next decade, maybe 10 to 15 years max. Peter, we've heard that before, that we'll be in, on Mars in, in a decade. Yes, we've heard this lots of times. Um, SpaceX boss Elon Musk has made no secret about the fact that he wants Starship to be the first vessel to bring humans to the surface of the of uh, of Mars, and uh, he also wants it to take humans to the moon for the first time in 1972. And two years ago, uh, NASA struck a deal with SpaceX, awarding them 2.9 billion dollars to do just that to adapt this Starship Starship uh, rocket to become a human landing variant. And as for the timeline, well, when it comes to Mars, Musk has promised 2024 we'll be there before, 2026, now we're hearing uh, 2030. But the truth is there are still two major technical hurdles to overcome. One is the next stage of reusability. So SpaceX has mastered uh, reusable rockets with its uh, Falcon 9, decimating the cost per tonne of, um, of launches and becoming the leading rocket for taking satellites into orbit because of the fact that you can reuse them. Uh, but the the problem is the super heavy prototype that we saw lift off on Thursday is simply too big and too super heavy to add landing legs. So what is SpaceX proposing? Well, they're proposing here you can see these giant mechanical arms, which in the future they hope to be able to catch the, the super heavy and reuse it again. Uh, the second major hurdle is refueling. Uh, NASA and SpaceX's draft plans say that in order to go to the moon and back, well, one of these starships will need to be refueled in orbit around 14 times, which is just, just doesn't seem practical right now, mm -hmm. although Musk says that they will whittle this down to far fewer refuelings. Uh, and what sort of competition is SpaceX uh, facing? Well, because of this reusable rocket innovation that I talked about, SpaceX is head and shoulders above the competition. It launches more rockets than any country or company. Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin is lagging behind. Virgin Orbit has laid off 85% of its staff and is facing bankruptcy. And now NASA more or less relies on SpaceX to do its work and does a lot of outsourcing. Meanwhile, Politico reports that ongoing delays to Europe's next generation Ariane rockets means that the European Commission is planning to ask American companies, read SpaceX, uh, to launch its next generation of satellites still out there. Wow. Th thank you very much for that, Peter. Peter O'Brien there.